Hey guys, uh, I've come to look at another boat and um, it's Monday and um, it's been on Trade Me a little bit and on Facebook and um, seems like a good buy and um, so I thought I'd better come and have a look so come and have a look with me It's a uh, Mummery 24. Now, in my mind, they like the Palin 24. Is it the interlude, prelude, or whatever it's called? Um, similar size, I guess they're both 24 foot. I haven't actually spoken to the owner, but I um, have had some correspondence. He said I can come and look at it, so I'm gonna, and um, you know, it's a, it is a great price too good for me to ignore so I thought I'd come and have a look and, uh, now the rig apparently needs re-rigging but there's the mast no I was going to say the spreaders are missing but there they are quite a chunky rig for about the soft strikes me anyway let's go for a look lovely spot cool. funny all these little um, places around you don't know where you can haul out your boat you know like um it's so damn expensive these days to haul out your boat these little places are just like gold mines aren't they you know in Auckland that's 50, 60, 70, 80 bucks a day who the hell can afford that anyway um well people with flash boats can but people with little boats more humble things what the hell are you going to do you're not going to spend that right let's have a look Yeah, it's a really nice shape, isn't it? Nice condition. Might as well have a little look in here. Cracks, oh yeah, cracks me up. The guy that said, I said, can I have a go, go look in it? And he said, if you're the Jason I'm thinking of. <laughs> wonder if I am the Jason he's thinking of. I bet I am. I had, um, had a Mummery 24 years back that I bought in um, Tauranga and um, I bought it in Tauranga and went down and sort of had a little bit of a muck around with it but never really went anywhere um, oh hey cool day out I can just about stand up now let's see I can stand up in the hatch um, it's a cool day out, man. Check it out. I like this little little couch area. Can't quite sit with my head against the wall. Why is a design fault, I feel. But I also understand the other side of that is the aesthetic of the outside, the way that comes in. Now, let's see. Now, that looks like a fiberglass hell. Well, that, well... Let me say it looks like it. It is a fiberglass hull. And it must be a wooden top. Yeah, very like the Palin 24. Perhaps the Palin 24 is slightly beamier. Across here. Little gas stove. That'll plug into a pipe somewhere. And let's see. Now this has got a motor. I wonder if it comes with the cradle bag full of that sails oh yeah so we've got a little solar little soul diesel let's see now I'm just going to turn that with my hand oh yeah it turns definitely not locked I believe it's in relative why well, I don't know I'd have to speak to him about the condition of the motor Really, really just guessing. And it's no good to guess about these things. In fact, who the hell knows what motors? Even the, the person you speak to, you know, then, then, then they don't. You don't really know till you get out and start the bloody thing and run it for a while, do you? It's just the nature of them, and even then they can be, be something different. Hey, this is um, is this a double bed? I mean, it's two pretty small quarters. Oh yeah, that that become, becomes an insertion. 
and um, that bit becomes an insertion. It's obviously had some bit of damp in here because there's a bit of mould, but I mean that is also because this is open, and you'd expect that. Neat little boat! Yeah, it's a neat little boat. Surprisingly, um, surprisingly spacious for the size. Good quarter berth there, good quarter berth there, two, four berths, I guess. What else can we suss out about it? Do I want to buy it? Should I buy it? That's a question. Like, I'm um, full and flat in my face with the last few. Trying to turn a profit is bloody near impossible. Um, but, so it's got to be, it's got to be something I want, and I'm very, very happy with the folk boat, so um, I'm possibly not going to buy it. Then, then the other side of that is, can I, can I resist buying it? I do like that um, it can stay here for a bit, he said. Um, I mean, it's just lovely, isn't it? And it would sail really, really well. Yeah, it's actually quite a cool boat. And the great thing is, yeah, it needs new rigging, but you spend the money in, on the rigging and then you've got new rigging, you know? Um, and having new rigging would be very, very reassuring. But when the, what would I need to do to it? The sails are there, so if it was just rigging, but then the outboard, uh, then the inboard, there's a battery there, but it'll no doubt be stuffed. And, um, oh, I can't see any morse controls. They're there, but they're not connected. Maybe that's the last 5% he was talking about. He said the last 5% needs some work. And I have fluffed around with those, these one of the, another time and it wasn't that much fun I mean, although if you, yeah, like, I mean it's it's also on the heart so you can kind of like you could you can buy it what, do all the wiring I always like what by wiring quite basic you can hear can you hear me talking myself into this <laughs> into this being a good idea I'm kind of doing it for your benefit as well not just my own like because I kind of figure that um, if I don't buy it, I'll put this on um, YouTube when I get home, and maybe the guy selling it can use it, and then people can see it, and uh, it'll help him sell it, which is great, because it does seem like a, a kind of irresistible price. Is this the one that was at, um, no, it's not the one that was at Milford. There was one of these at Milford that sold recently, but no, I remember the engine was different, and it really was quite poor repair. Whereas this one's quite good. This one's not, doesn't look like it's had a shit life. It's a thing, so often you get boats that have had a shit life, gets bought up, then it has a shit life again, and they seem to be on that, on that cycle, unfortunately. And it's almost like, I remember this serious episode of Seinfeld where he talks about this, there being a bad hole in retail, you know, there's a bad shop, and it always seems to be stink for that shop. And I wonder if some boats have that fate, you know, that they just fated to be neglected, forgotten boats. This boat doesn't have that feel. Um, definitely has a feel like it could do us some air. Um, but it'll be awesome. Yeah, I'm tempted to do it. I might ring the guy and have a yap. Um, and if I don't do it, um, you'll see that it's on, on um, my YouTube channel. And uh, if it suits you, give the guy a, a ring. Um, it's on trade on Facebook. And a bird up there in the bush. Yeah, look. It's a, ooh. I know this isn't a bird watching channel, but that's one of those big kiwi, what do you call them? Um, you know, the big thingy bobs? Well, uh, uh, when I was younger, I thought of them as pigeon, but they're not, are they? They're something or other. Hey, um, while I've got you, can we go down and have a little quick look at the keel again? Um, yeah, wood pigeons, I think, of them, but they actually got a, a Maori name that's really cool, and um, they're a cool bird, actually. That's it from the back. I mean, it's in great nick, which is hard to ignore. You know, um, 
I mean, so much of the value of boats now is actually really, it's not even what they are, it's the condition. And, you know, when it's in this good a condition, it's a little bit hard to ignore. Look, the anti fouls on there. That's been done a while ago. Um, it's a fiberglass hull, so we should be looking for osmosis. I can't see any. Um, osmosis is very telling, you have lumps. If, you have, if there was osmosis on there, I'd be able to say that's osmosis, and I can't see any. Um, so this is the, rig, the mast that would need rigging. Rigging, I don't know, I've never rigged a boat, you know? Um, interesting, and it'd be an interesting exercise to go through. But like I said, if you did sort the rigging out and sort the motor, motor out, you have a sorted out motor, go to hell and that, like, God, you can have a cracking little boat for not that much money. Anyway, I'll give the guy a ring, um, and um, talk to you later. Okay, bye.